bandits cooking away over the flames. Hey guys, Mark from Boosie Bushcraft and Outdoors. Me and Shadow are here together again. We're gonna head out into the uh, woods tonight and do a hammock camp. Uh, no stove, nothing. Maybe a long fire down in uh, front of the uh, hammock, uh, but we're gonna rough it a little more tonight. Uh, the weather is getting better, spring's coming, and it's just a uh, nice temperature. So anyway, we're gonna uh, cook a nice meal tonight. So uh, come along with us for the uh, journey and hike into the woods. Some older deer scat. The deer like to come down in these pines in the winter up in here. And they uh, head out to the field when it's uh, clear. I'll dig up some uh, grasses to eat as well. Big chunk of whitetail fur there. Not sure if a uh, coyote got something here or not. I don't see any remnants of anything else, but uh, not a good sign when you see that much hair. These are like the grandfather, grandmother trees. Even in these uh, places that were cut over the years, they left the odd one, and here's one of them, for example. Nice to see.
take advantage of uh, birch bark when you see it. I had one black bear down here last year wreaking havoc on my camera. Kept screwing with it. They love trail cameras and chewing antennas off. Won't be too long, they'll be out if they're not out already. Lots of black bears here. Well, I've uh, still hunted down through here quite a few times and I've walked past this place. I never marked it, so I didn't just bush, bushwhack, sorry to find it. But I just love it. The Golden Brook here flows by and it's kind of like a semi-flat area. And it's just a nice spot and tranquil. So this is where I'm going to camp tonight. Anyway, let's get this uh, thing set up, get some food on the go. These old uh, beaver chews, uh, they uh, set up all along this Golden Brook right down into the Tatamish Bay, because that's where this runs towards. And they uh, keep making dams all along here. And uh, over the years, they've uh, flooded out some areas, but uh, they come and go. There's the hammock out. Again, my supper lines path binder. These are a great hammock. Kind of a pain in the butt. They're great for summer, but like the last time I used it, the bug nets kind of, you can't take it off. So I might get another one for uh, winter camping when I don't need the bug net. But otherwise, it's a great hammock. all these straps with the all the options for hanging it.
and the ticks are out. Uh, the last video there, the second last video, there was ticks. To modify this, as always. You always kind of want your toe box a little bit higher, anyway, so that's fine. See what this is like. Yeah, it's a little bit too steep. I'm gonna have to modify this or have it hanging. Too close. Sucks. Alienated woodpecker. Probably doesn't like us. There we go. Good thing that other tree was behind it. Perfect. Put this up one more. What's nice is you run a piece of paracord along the top of the tree there. Uh, tie a bowl in, throw the toggle in through the hole, and then uh, do a trucker's hitch on the other end and you're set. So there you have your trucker's hitch and a half hitch to uh, secure it. Gorgeous night. Yeah, spring's definitely on the way.
this is my little shop of hammocks uh, custom made uh, in Manitoba. Like that. This under quilt's been amazing. Uh, it was a great purchase. Wasn't cheap, but definitely keeping me a lot warmer in the uh, hammock. Well, I got the, all the gear unpacked. I got the backpack hung up. Gonna be cooking off the old jet boil tonight, but I am gonna make a long fire here to keep me warm and just sit and enjoy supper. So I'm gonna cut some firewood now and uh, we'll get that all ready to enjoy the night. Beautiful sunset coming behind the uh, him. Got an owl over here. Let's see if he'll call back. <laughs> yep, he called back. He likes playing. He'll probably come around later. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I might as well take advantage of some nice uh, hard old maple that's across the river here. I'll take that and use that for the long fire. And dry. Had my hot tent and stove here. That'd be perfect wood for burning in the uh, stove. Anyway, we're roughing it tonight. Well, might as well get a fire going before dark here, and then I can start preparing uh, supper. Okay, I'll put it right. 
it in. That's what happens, you get overzealous, put it out. <laughs> ah, well. There we go. All right, we got a nice little fire going here. Let's uh, start getting this uh, soup ready. One nice thing about the mini mo is you can uh, simmer with it, whereas uh, my Jetboil Flash, you can't simmer. So for like soups and stuff, it's uh, perfect for that. I'll change the view for you so you can see. So there's the chicken. I uh, cut it up into some small cubes and um, got some spice to put on that. I'll let that kind of fry up and uh, then we'll start adding the stock and the veggies. Have a delicious uh, soup later. And I've got some bannock to make as well. Probably do that on a stick or something. We go on this, we've got some uh, Jamaican jerk seasoning. Spice up that uh, soup a little bit.
All that church seasoning smells delicious. Yum. Well, I think it's time to put the uh, chicken stock in. bring that up to a boil and we'll add the veggies. I meant to grab some noodles at the cottage but I forgot. I got my carrots and potatoes here. Obviously the potatoes oxidize a little bit in the bag but uh, we're white. I do have a little bit of noodle things that she grabbed that I had left over. Just will throw that in it. But uh, yeah it should be tasty. Can't wait to dig into this after. I do have a couple uh, garlic cloves I'll throw in there. I'll just throw them in whole just for flavor. There we go. Well, that thing didn't take long to come up to a boil. So anyway, I'm going to add all these carrots and potato to this. It's a lot. I'll put the rest of this stock in there. We'll let that uh, steep there, or more or less steep, or simmer, and uh, get those veggies soft. And just put the water in the bag to make the bannock, so I'm going to work on that. Well, sounds like she's up to a boil. Let's give this a stir. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Well, got my bannock dough ready. Just did slightly too much water. Put it on the stick to cook it. There it is on the stick. Yep, I'll get ready to cook it. Well, the bannock's cooking away over the flames. Hopefully that cooks nicely to go with the uh, chicken soup here.
All right, soup is done. Looks really good, I can't wait to eat some. <laughs> My bandit got a little bit extra cooked on the bottom there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Listen to some geese honk that came over just a minute ago. Oh well, most of it's pretty good. A little crunchy on the bottom. Should be good still. Anyway, I'll dish this up and uh, show you what it looks like. Shadow's gonna enjoy some too, aren't you buddy? Bannock. It's a little bit well done in the corners there, but overall it's pretty good. I'm gonna dish up some uh, for uh, Shadow here, but I'll throw his cool. That looks pretty good, eh? Alright, I'll put that down here, let that cool for Shadow. I think Mr. Al wants some. Oh, there's two of them. Having a big old chat. Oh, it's delicious. This is this is this is great. Oh. Uh. Keep eating. Let's just see what this manic tastes like. Got a nice little crunchy coating to it. Hint of fire. <laughs> Good. Some molasses on that would be great. Well, I'm going to continue eating and listen to these owls go at it. Hold on, bud. We'll get some. One sec. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Right, let's have some coffee. Fire starting to lengthen out. Nice long fire to sit beside and keep uh, warm. Then climb in the sleeping bag later. I'll let that boil and make a nice hot cup of coffee. And she's boiled. Nice. All right. Branch in there. Uh -huh. 
Could have had a nice cup of hot coffee. Mm -mm. Mm. Gorgeous night. Well, I hope you're enjoying the content this year. I, I'm having a lot of fun. I think I'm improving. <laughs> Uh, always hiccups. It's uh, it's not easy doing this. I'll tell you that much. Uh, filming, you know, in half an hour takes me hours to do it. Um, it you know, there's a lot of work goes into this, and people judge and make you know comments. But uh, try it and see how it goes for you too. So I'm just gonna keep pushing them out. Um, trying to improve them every time. And yeah, please like and subscribe. I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's relaxing. So just keep watching. I'm going to have some other variety coming up here soon. And some other products to review as well. Anyway, keep watching. And thanks for subscribing if you have. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. What a great view. Put Shadow in the hammock. Keep him a little warmer. He's peeking his head over. Aren't you, bud? He liked his soup. Didn't you, buddy? Got a little bannock as well. He's a good boy. Probably not going to see it well on an iPhone at night, but uh, moon shining up there. Well, I thought I'd try one jitney uh, from uh, Tatum Gush Brewing Company for the fire for a little longer here and then I'll settle down in bed and, and enjoy my time here in the woods and listen to nature. Cheers everybody. Mm, nice and cold from sitting in the stream. Nature's cooler. Yeah, this uh, old maple's burning pretty good here. Nice and hot. Nothing like nature to soothe the soul. Thanks for coming along with me. Well guys, I'm gonna settle down for the night and I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. With that, I'm out. Well, good morning guys. Shadow and I had a great sleep. It was nice and toasty in the uh, hammock with the uh, under quilt. Weather's not too bad. It's supposed to be a little uh, worse later. But uh, we're going to enjoy a cup of coffee here in a minute. The fire sparked right back up, so I got a little bit of warmth before I put it out. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good sleep. Minus the uh, two owls are having a duel again at 5 a.m. In the, in the morning, so that kind of woke us up. But besides that, no, it was a great sleep. That's the uh, last bit of snow hanging on here. We might get another freak snowstorm, but uh, we're kind of getting on the other side of things now. So it's more like spring. There's still some rabbits here, but definitely not the numbers they used to be. 
lots of predators. One of my cameras isn't far from here. I've had skunks on it, bobcats, coyotes, deer. Here we got some uh, old coyote scat. Must have been eating some rabbits or something. You can see some bones. I don't think it's deer. It's too thin of a bone to look like that. But yeah, there's little shards of bone in it like that right there. Yeah. And rodents are like squirrels and rabbits as well. Funny thing is, my dog loves coffee. Don't you, Shadow? You like your morning java? You funny dog. Well guys, I hope you liked this one. This was a lot of fun. Uh, temperatures were great. I was warm all night. Uh, had a great meal. And uh, yeah, it was well worth the trip in here. Uh, I wanted to camp here for a long time and I finally did it. And I'm glad I did. Anyway, with that, uh, a lot of people that watch my channel don't subscribe. Um, please uh, subscribe, like it, and hit the bell to be notified of uh, future videos. Um, last year, I kind of kind of stopped uh, doing any camping videos and that. So throughout the summer and that, I didn't really do much. Threw in a couple fishing videos, but I'm going to try to uh, keep some more camping videos in there and uh, stuff like that. Obviously, hot tent camping doesn't apply to the summer; it's too hot. So I'm going to try to change it up. I'll throw in some more camping and some uh, motorcycle rides and uh, fishing, etc. Uh, so we'll keep going with that. Anyway, I hope you like the channel. I hope you uh, like the content, what I'm bringing out. I'm really enjoying it. I, I love doing this. Um, it's for myself. I make money one day, so be it. But um, anyway, I'm just enjoying it, and I hope you're liking it too. So with that, live off the land. Lucy out.